The Highest Paid Dot Online has partnered with The Real Dana to bring you this special sale. For the month of July, you will receive 30% off any of the options trading courses we provide. Use code DANA30 to access the sale. Go to highestpaid.online and get started today. If you don't convert to a certain religion, but to trying to come close to it. Well, let me play this clip because this is um, Hakeem Jeffries at it the is. at the um, he's speaking on a house floor um, condemning. Let me come on, come on, look, come on, stop. Hakeem Jeffries condemning um, the unconstitutional House GOP back voter suppression bill. That's what he's saying. So I want to play it. Well, this is I'm not playing a whole seven minutes, but I'm just going to play some of it. Uh, uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you uh, to the distinguished gentleman, the ranking member of the House Administration Committee for his tremendous leadership. I rise today in strong opposition to this extreme MAGA Republican voter suppression bill. The right to vote is sacred. The right to vote is special. The right to vote is sacrosanct. The right to vote is central to the integrity of our democracy. It's the foundation of the principle of government of the people, by the people, and for the people. The problem is, apparently, my extreme MAGA Republican colleagues have concluded that rather than trying to win a debate in the hearts and minds of the American people anchored in ideas, they've chosen instead as a strategy to engage in voter suppression. There is no evidence that has been presented to suggest that undocumented individuals have been participating in federal elections. Republicans who investigated these allegations on their own committee have been unable to document these allegations. It is unconstitutional. It is the state of the law that only citizens can vote in federal elections. Only citizens can vote for the House of Representatives. Only citizens can vote for the United States Senate. Only citizens can vote for the presidency of the United States. So this extreme MAGA Republican voter suppression bill is not designed to solve any problem on behalf of the American people. It is designed to jam people up and prevent Americans from voting. The extreme MAGA Republican voter suppression bill will not allow Americans to vote who have a state-issued driver's license. The extreme MAGA Republic. Um, He's lying. Yeah, of course he's lying. And then the other hand, these bastards that he represents are the ones that set it up. So I just ran into all of those difficulties trying to get my license upgraded. See, they're lying. So they made it difficult. What are they trying to say now? The rules that they got put in place because of their cheating by trying to say illegal should have driver's licenses in New York, uh, Illinois, and California, or maybe not Illinois yet. That screwed Chicago, the rest. Of so that is in Illinois. So. Yeah, that screwing the rest of the country. Next thing is the perfidious bastard is sitting up there trying to disguise the fact that when you walk in, they don't separate the ballots. It's a continuous ballot. It starts off with the federal offices, and then it goes to the state, then it goes to the county, then it goes to the local. And that means that the election workers are going to have to go reviewing credentials to determine what kind of separate extra ballot that they give you, which gives these perfidious bastards more opportunity to cheat. See, it's it's extreme. And so what it, everybody doesn't deserve to vote if you respond to bullshit like take your booties to the poll. So some naked booties. I interviewed the woman that came up with it years ago.
-hmm. one third of one which are trannies, not even women. So you're supposed to be looking at a bare ass on a strip pole and that's supposed to influence how you vote. You don't need to vote. So every thug, crook, and everybody else has got a driver's license. Seems to be easy enough for them to get the license. So you mean to tell me that voting should be easier than that? If you don't have that much whatever to go do that little to vote, then you don't deserve to vote. Right. And it's a lie. Nobody's trying to interfere with or keep people from voting. The desire is to just stop cheating which these guys are getting pretty good at. Duh. Um, I'm going to play a little bit more. Republican voter suppression bill will not allow Americans who are serving in the military to use their military ID while they're serving this country to vote. The extreme MAGA Republican voter suppression bill. Hmm? They just came up with that regulation on the driver's licenses. Remember, I'm going through Washington, D.C., which they control totally. So won't allow thing, young people, college students who are attending state universities all across the land who have been issued college IDs through their state colleges and universities to vote. Now, why are you lying son of a big bitch is you to make it improper to use those IDs up there in Washington, D.C.? What, was what were you doing? Right. The difference between the House Democratic view of free and fair elections the peaceful transfer of power and government of the people, by the people and for the people and the extreme MAGA Republican view. House Democrats want to make it easier to vote and harder to obtain weapons of war. <laughs> extreme MAGA Republicans. They want you to give up your ability to serve as a check to the tyrannical type of government they're talking about. That's precisely why we have the Second Amendment. So these clowns with a straight face are saying we want to impose a tyranny, a totalitarian government to end free speech, and we want to take away your ability to defend yourself. We want to sit the crooks free out with no bonds to be posted. We want to sit there and not deal with controlled crime. We want to defund the police department. We want lawlessness where nobody has any principle. And yet we want you to give up your ability to protect yourself. Well, I'm sorry. Most of us are not into that bullshit about letting somebody determine who gets protected and who does not. We say as Americans, we can protect ourselves. Just get the hell out of our way instead of coming up with this sissy crap because you were afraid for anybody to act like a man. Mm -hmm. um, so this is Representative Wesley Hunt, right? And he um, rebuttal the Democrats. He accused, well, Wesley Hunt accuses Democrats of making insinuations. Um, that's the most racist thing I ever heard. So I'm going to play his, um, it's a minute and 42 seconds. So this is short. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today. Let me know if you guys can hear that. You can hear that, Judge? Yes. Supporter of H.R. 8281, the SAVE Act. For years, Democrats have called Republicans conspiracy theorists for stating Democrats want illegal aliens to vote in our elections, yet President Biden and every single Democrat in Washington want this bill to fail. If Biden and the Democrats want to clear up this conspiracy theory, Mr. President, when this bill passes, make sure you sign it into law. And on another note, I've been black for my entire life. I'd like to bring up the most racist thing I've ever heard is the insinuation by Democrats that black and brown Americans are too stupid to get an ID to vote just like everybody else. I call this the soft bigotry of low expectations. Figuring out how to vote in this country is a very low bar. And we could all figure it out regardless of your race, religion, color, or creed. And we should all want free and fair elections. With me today 
I'm not going to pull mine out this time, but I have six forms of government issue ID. How did I acquire that? Personal responsibility in this country. I've also heard a lot about Jim Crow here today. I'm here to tell you Jim Crow is over, and I know it because my parents grew up in it. And I think it's actually insulting to those that actually experienced the ills of Jim Crow. I do to vote in our nation election should be a requirement, which is why I stand before you today urging my colleagues on the left to support this bill. If you want secure elections, if you want your vote to count, vote for the SAVE Act. I'll go back the rest of my time. Mr. Speaker, I reserve. The gentleman. Hey, man, that was good stuff. That was good stuff. Yeah, um, but also um, what took place today, I wanted to, what was this? What was this? So it was breaking news that the Senate blocked the SAVE Act. Of course, it's democratic control. They want to be able to stuff the polls. Otherwise, why in the hell would they be letting the borders wide open, letting criminals, disease-infected people, drug addicts, drug traffickers, sex traffickers, rapers, rapists, and murderers in across the border with no vetting in the millions? Why would they let people come in who are determined to do some physical harm to the country, who feel that they've been done wrong abroad, from the Middle East, from Ukraine, from other places? Why are we letting them come in with no vetting, no check, breaking the rules? What is this? What is their purpose? Right. And because I know with the Senate um, and Kamala Harris, if it's a tie, she could break the tie. But they want the illegals to definitely replace the black vote, but also to replace all Americans to have it so that the Democrats could stay in power, whether it's in Congress and the White House um, or, white, or the White House or both. Um, yeah. Yes. Amen so, to that. Um, House passed bill to non-citizen to ban non-citizens. House passed bill to block. Well, right. if this didn't that first fool get up there, Hakeem Jeffries, and talk about it's against the law. But yeah, but that's what I'm saying. They try to wheel stuff in their favor, but by lying. Yeah. Didn't he say it's illegal for aliens to come in and vote in federal elections? Then why the hell does he oppose a bill that would make it beyond equivocation? Right. He's a liar. He's part of this thing trying to impose this rainbow cult on everybody. He's an acolyte. Judge Joe Brown's all-new barbecue sauce and seasoning, justice in the form of flavor. Law firms will take this as a retainer. What? It must be a law firm where they hungry as hell. Now you gonna help me with this parole I'm dealing with? Judge Joe Brown's all-new barbecue sauce and seasoning, justice in the form of flavor. With one taste of our premium blends of all-natural ingredients, herbs, and spices, mm, you'll fall in love with meat all over again. Judge Joe Brown's all-natural barbecue sauce collection is made up of two zesty flavors, original and spicy. There's only one way to bring order back to barbecuing. Just add Judge Joe Brown's all-natural barbecue sauce and seasoning, and you be the judge.